Hey you guys, okay, so I know it's been a while since I posted, but I have super exciting news. Did you know that October is National Miniatures Month? I mean, I had no idea. And it just so happens that my birthday is in October and Chase's and my mom's and Halloween, like as if October couldn't get any cooler, now it's National Miniatures Month. Awesome. So I just got back from a really great Dollhouse Club meeting and tonight was super special because it was my birthday month. So everyone sung me happy birthday, which was so sweet. And I won the raffle, which I haven't won yet, but I got, uh, where is it? I got a super cool fireplace and a hutch for a dollar entry. Like my dad says, only takes one to win and I totally won it. And we made super cute pumpkins. I gotta show you guys, cause it's so cute. Um, and I will, but right behind me, this is exciting. This is what I wanted to really show you. This is my latest project, which I am calling the Bitchin Beach House, because not just any beach house, this is gonna be a kick-ass dollhouse beach house that I wish I could afford to live in, but I can't. So right now, this is what I'm doing. So check this out. So here's the outside, which how cute is this? I'm gonna do like glass railing and I'm gonna do some cool siding in this really great like blue gray color. You can't really tell because it's here. And then the door is gonna be raspberry and then I'm gonna put shutters on and some natural elements. I'll show you the other side, some shingles. Oh, I know cats over here hanging out okay so this is the inside these are the cool things I want at raffle look let me show you this real quick and then I'll move it okay this is a hutch which adorable I mean it's kind of chintzy but Chase can paint that and you know he can play with it and put like trains or something I also won this fireplace which is why I actually entered the raffle it's a kit and someone had already done it but this is gonna go into my room box that I'm doing this is Leia hi Leia she loves the dollhouse too I mean who doesn't look how awesome so much potential so cool and our project next month we are gonna build this ta-da well, hopefully build it. I mean, the ladies are gonna help me, but everybody got a little project. We all got to pick one and then we're gonna build it. It's all like pieces and I gotta figure out how the heck I'm gonna do it. See, I can stain it or do like a paint treatment. So I don't know, but that's for the future. Anyways, okay, back to the beach house. So this is the beach house and it's very rough right now okay I'm not gonna like use this furniture but right now it's just kind of like placement so I can see where I want to put everything so this is the front entry which I think I'm gonna do a different door maybe like glass and there's supposed to be stairs you can see where the hole was already cut I bought this dollhouse pre-made so it's very raw but it's I can do whatever I want to it so here we'll have the living rooms some really cool fabrics and a layout and then this is gonna be like my breakfast nook and I'm gonna put this great fabric on a sofa so I put it there it's very snazzy and then drapery I have this great sheer and then this is the kitchen which is gonna have like beachy vintage vibe and then upstairs instead of walking right into the master bedroom because who does that you know your guests are gonna have to come up and use the bathroom because that's the only bathroom in the house this is gonna be a really great library because every beach house needs like a spot to unwind, a library, a desk, a reading nook. So that's what that's gonna be. Then you'll have the bathroom, then there's this great outdoor patio area. I'm gonna do a really cute umbrella. And then upstairs is gonna be the bedroom. So this will be like a sleeping loft kind of thing, a little treehouse vibe. And I'm gonna do this really great Philip Jeffries wallpaper on the side. So it'll feel like you're in the clouds when you're at the beach because I always wanted a skylight above my bed in my own house so this will kind of be a version of that but stay tuned because there's a lot going on lots of work to do though but I'm super excited to get started so yeah okay, that's so that's that. the beach house pretty cool right I think so so these are the pumpkins look look how cute 
How do I show? Okay, hold on. Technical difficulties. Look, we made them out of modeling clay, sculpting clay, and put little cute faces on them, but they're drying, so you can't really touch them, but oh, they're going to be adorable. And then two, this is a flyer about our miniature show. We have a big show that goes on every March, and the proceeds go to benefit Avda and Kids in Distress. So great charities, great cause. And if anyone is local in the area, I would love for you to come out. It's not until March, so you got time. Tickets are super expensive, so make sure you save up. Adults are $5 and kids are $2. Seriously, like who wouldn't want to come to this? It's going to be awesome. We're going to have like workshops and all kinds of things. So hopefully... I don't know if I'll have this sucker done by then, but I'll have my little cozy cottage room box done, fingers crossed. So you all have to come and check it out and support this cause. It's going to be great. So that's it for this episode of the Dollhouse Diaries. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.